Alright, we're rolling. Alright, it's Oliver Peck here in Austin, Texas, South by Southwest Music Festival here at the Mohawk where the House of Bands has set up shop for their showcase. Let's see what's going on. First of all, tell me who you are, where you're from, what are you doing here, and what do you want? I've just played in uh, Mutilation Rights and just played here. Oh, I, want, I want some shoes, I guess. Alright, there you go, there you go. That's about it. I want to get drunk also. We want everything. We want to be, we want to rule the world, dude. Uh, real metal, man. Evil tinge, good times, beer drinking, have fun. Hurt. Yeah, pretty good, but hurt, tired. We're Inter Arma. We're from Richmond, Virginia, and I really don't know what the hell we're doing here. Well, you played earlier. Yes. I signed a bunch of people who are playing. Uh, Macklemore is playing this week, and a couple other bands. We're just here for the chicks. We are in a group called Maximum Headroom. We're out here doing some shows. Unveiling it to the world. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good here at the Mohawk. Just saw the Stooges. You caught, I was gonna ask you, did you catch the Stooges? I caught the Stooges, caught yes. Them. They're doing all uh, new songs from their new record, and that was really cool to hear. I always like to hear, like, you know, the process. Awesome, guys. Well, there's a lot of different dance styles that are going on in, in bands these days, whether it's rock, metal, punk, whatever. Uh, well, you think there's a dance style that kind of people do to your music as opposed to other music? Not exactly. Yeah, they're, uh, they're drunk and they fall over. Yeah. Some cities just stand there and look at you, and that's fine, too. But some cities like to go ape shit, like Austin usually does. We got the first circle pit of the day. There you go. Well, that's like a lot of break dancing, a lot of like... A lot of pop, pop in and lock, lock in, yeah. Pop and lock and break dancing, you know? Break dancing to a dive. And break your foot. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's real I, break dancing. Yeah. Uh, the Charleston, <laughs> I'm good with the fingers. Did y'all do some dancing? Uh, <laughs> dancing. No. No dancing? No you just listen, only listen. Yeah. You, when you play your music, do the people in the crowd, do they move and shake? Eventually, yeah. They like to do the hammer. Just the hammer. They should do the arms folded, smug look on their face. Send a text. Possibly a throw of a beer. Yeah, or the texting is a good one too. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah. Arms folded, and possibly texting. Yeah. yeah. I got a question for you. You got any bad tattoos? No. No bad ones? That's a shame because we are out here looking for the worst tattoo we can find on the streets of Austin, Texas. What's the worst tattoo you got? That one right there. What is that? Um, something uh, one of my friends drew. And it says Fred. Yeah. Who's Fred? Um, no idea. I, I do happen to have uh, some bad tattoos. What's the worst one you got? Uh, I got, on this arm, I got an Alice in Wonderland tattoo. Wise decision. At what age? Uh, I got it when I was uh, 19. What in the... Oh, this one was free, so... That looks pretty good, though. Hairy chest. Yeah. She got a hairy chest. So what's the worst tattoo you got? My tramp's down. Let's check it out. You have to move the backpack. Whoa! Okay, what was it? What do you think it was? A girl's name. Yep. You and it, it wasn't your mom. And it wasn't my mother. I, I think I'm going to take the cake. This one's pretty bad, too. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a uh, claw holding a skull with smoke pouring out of the top. Yeah, I can't see that. That's a Twitter verified tattoo right there. Not only, not <laughs> only, terrible. okay, not only is this a poorly executed tattoo, it's also just a really bad idea to start with. Yeah. It's a profile of a single breast with a five o'clock shadow smoking a cigarette. It's really <laughs> shitty. It looks really shitty. Yeah. I got a Neil Diamond too. I like this one. Forever in blue jeans. It's a diamond kneeling. I have a really shitty Dr. Pepper bottle. Underwater scene. Um, plus, I got uh, the Rising Sun, like Eddie Van Halen's guitar from 1984. Little ghost with three balloons. He can't fly, so he needs help. Ex-husband. As far as like technically done, it's very mediocre. Yeah. But as far as uh, as conceptual, it's it's not bad. I love it's it. kind of clever. I love it. I, I have shitloads of terrible tattoos. And I love, I love them all. 
All right, thanks for checking out our Off the Wall TV coverage of the House of Vans live at South by Southwest here at the Mohawk. We saw a lot of great shows, talked to a lot of great people. It's been a great time. We searched the street, we saw a lot of terrible tattoos, um, and then we had an Instagram contest where you could win a free Vans tattoo, and now we have our lucky winner here, and we're about to give her a tattoo. Thanks for tuning in.